All right, before we get started, I wanted to show something. I kept meaning to do this before and just didn't. I don't know why. Um, this is actually the Alpha Centauri tech tree. So this is a picture of the actual poster, which I do have somewhere. I don't currently know where it is. I think it's actually just over there. But anyway, um, so this is a horribly convoluted tree. So instead of this one, we're actually going to focus on this one instead. This is the same tech tree, except it's currently cutting in a little bit into my um, display. That's fine. There we go. Um, so this is the current tech tree, or it's the, it's a fan mod version of the tech tree that just rearranges things a little bit, make it a little bit easier. Um, let's zoom in and let me show you where we're currently at on technology. Hi, Boo. So, Boo Kitty wants to say hi, first off. Uh, second off, all of the green highlighted area are the technologies that we have. You'll notice that there's a couple of spots that we don't actually have the pre previous technologies. That tends to happen. We'll eventually need to pick them up because they're going to be prerequisites for other things. Well, all except for one of them. Um, the one that's in the bottom left-hand corner. That's actually not a prerequisite for anything. There's not really a reason why we need it. Um, the one that's highlighted in yellow is currently what we are researching for reference. So this is where we're currently at. And keep in mind, there's a lot more tech tree. Um, this is where, like, fusion power, which you see in the uh, rightmost, uh, the top part of the rightmost column, uh, that is what I dictate is the beginning of mid game, not necessarily due to the fact that it's halfway through the technologies, although strangely enough, it actually is slightly over half, but it's mostly because it changes the way all combat works. And that's the point where I kind of think, yeah, we're in a different game at this point. So anyway, I just wanted to cover that right at the beginning. Uh, let's go ahead and get back to the game. All right. So uh, I had to load the game to actually look at the text, so I messed up my research a little bit. Um, Turn complete. I haven't done anything. Um, we have capital R's today for our random character. It's weird that it's changing now, given that it used to always be the Enya. Um, looking at the dominance chart, uh, Prophet Lal is really the only person I'm even concerned about. Chairman Yang might be an annoying thorn at best. Um, he does have a stronger military than we do, but that's mostly because we haven't bothered building a military. Uh, Lady Deidre has a lot of money though, so that's interesting to know. We're lay poor at the moment because I think we just finished buying a secret project. Is that right? Did we finish the neural amplifier? No, we didn't. Maybe that was the previous turn, or maybe that is in Academic Rock? The cyber factory? No. Oh, well, I know that we're currently, um, whatchamacallit, um, focusing on wealth because we need to catch up a little bit on money. Uh, so we'll probably focus on wealth for two turns. Production complete. Yay, tree farm. All right. What can you build at university base? It might be time for some hab. Although let's focus on money. For, no, let's focus on hab. Um... Yeah, we're fine on that because facilities are completely cleared out and we have police. So, yeah. Production complete. So how's it going? Um, it's been a few days since my last recordings. Um, I just uploaded episode five and six. Five gets released tomorrow. Six gets released on that would be Tuesday. And this is seven. So it's not too far off, I suppose. Oh, my num locks on. So, fun thing, you actually have to keep Numlock off in order to use the keypad on this. It's quite unfortunate. Um, rolling moist. Let's just forest everything. Forest all the things! Hi, you finally got Garrison. That's nice. Or did we hurry the Sky Hydroponics Lab? That might have been it. And I accidentally opened up an Explorer window in front. Uh, no, we didn't. Okay. Yeah, I've got nothing. Indigenous life form. Of course. You need 
to sleep for a turn. You're gonna stay there. You're traveling down. Indigenous life. Num. Num. Complete. We got at least some money. Maximum population reached. Built the bio lab. That's nice. Uh, oh, you have cloud cover issues. No wonder you're having problems. Um. I want. Honestly, it's probably about time for us to start prototyping the Chaos Copter, but for now, let's go ahead and focus on a research lab. Uh, rocky, moist, and high up. Let's go ahead and flatten you. Rolling rainy. We're going to move over there to build a mirror next turn. Rolling moist and below is just that. Um, throw down some solar panels. Indigenous life. Nom, nom. We'll switch back to um. Life nice. But recovered. Another network uh, alien artifact. Okay, that's good to know. And you know what you're going with there. Uh, Energy what's that resources. Have? Energy resources. I was really hoping for a uh, obelisk. So. I still don't know what I'm getting married at this point. Uh, it's the 13th of August. According to my paperwork, I was supposed to get married day after tomorrow. That's definitely not happening. Um, oh, right. We actually do have a ship. I don't want to enter that pod on one turn. Uh, let's go ahead and change ourselves back to all science all the time. So we're at 482. Let's figure out how much money we have at the end of next turn, so whether it's more or less. Improvement destroyed. Yeah, that's not good. You still only have one. That is dumb of me. Let me guess. I'm using you for police? I'm not using you for police. Now, we're going to have to hold until I'm closer. Bot recovered. 20. Uh, so we're at 616. I'm not going to count that 200, so assume we're at 416. Indigenous life forms. Oop, that wasn't good. I'm not making money this turn, that's for sure. Indigenous life forms. I made another 40. Indigenous life forms. So yeah, we are definitely making a profit at this point. Um, wait. Move up there. You're gonna sleep. You're awake. You're gonna sleep. Or hold for a turn, I should say. So for reference, what I'm doing, I don't know if you can see how well, or how well you can see the hit point bars. Depends on the current zoom and so on. Um, Green is 20% damage or less. Yellow is 30 to, I want to say 60%. Might be 50, I can't remember. And red is 70 to 100%. So on red, I tell them to sleep. On yellow, I have them wait one turn. On green, I usually keep going. In case if you were wondering what in the world I'm turn doing. Complete. Production complete. Tree farm. Yay, trees. <coughs> um, you should probably build a supply crawler. Production. Complete. We're gonna start needing more and more of those as time goes on. Um, speaking of needing supply crawlers, you should have stayed still. Old. Um, okay, that's just fungus. Oops. That's actually fine for what I want you to do. Academic rock. 
I want you to activate and go after that mind worm, please. Thank you. Ooh, did you see that message? Um, Capture attempt failed. Our Psy Talents report a vastly more powerful mind seems to be directing this particular native life form. So, if I remember right, what that means is that that came from a pop, I believe. Not entirely sure on that, to be honest. Pretty sure it's from a pop. Anyway, let's continue terraforming the rocky areas. Rude. Indigenous life form. Wait, no. See, I'd rather have artillery on artillery, just because, well... It does make it a little harder. You'll notice it's Psi 3 versus Psi 3 instead of Psi 2. But artillery can't capture normal units otherwise. So, And this is a way to guarantee that I fight rather than capture. I don't need even more units. All right. You have another regular former. Uh, we should change you from formers to Fungusetal C formers. Um, is there anybody building any of the secret projects beyond us? No. Okay. So I don't need to worry about that too much. Um, can we hurry the Sky Hydro Lab? We can. So it's all but 30, so that's 86. There we go. Forest. I'm gonna sit still for a turn. You're gonna move up. You're gonna sleep. You're gonna rest. You're going to rest. Turn. You're going to move. All right. There we go. The launch of the first satellite allows us to map all remaining unexplored sections of planet. Sky farms are fantastically beautiful with their kilometer-long networks of glass framed in grids of metal and the sunlight shining through jungles of vegetation inside. When one of them catches the light, you can see the refracted beauty for miles. There are life-giving stars on a desolate planet, gardens on the wing. Lady Deidre Sky, Planet Dreams. I really like that description. Like, picturing it in my mind, it looks freaking gorgeous. So. The university under Provost Sokhodov launch a spacecraft. They become the first faction in space since planet fall. That's right. First, as usual. I'm pretty sure we're going to be first for almost everything else at this point. Um, no, we're not going to be the first to invade somebody, because we've seen that Yang already did that to Morgan. Um, let's see. I'm going to switch you to a fusion lab for now. How are you doing? Um, you have one police. You could grow one more population. It will happen, and it will happen in our lifetimes. Fusion power isn't just the future. Fusion power is now. now. TM Morgan Riley, Morgan Metagenics. So, fun fact, you'll notice that we're going to start getting fewer and fewer quotes from Morgan and more quotes from TM Morgan Riley, which sounds like Morgan Industries merged with another corporation. And we will stop hearing from the CEO. So, I think, like... Base plot-wise, they assume that Morgan's been wiped out at this point. Which, to be fair, he's almost been wiped out at this point. It's kind of sad. Um, You're probably getting up there. On, oh, yep, you are at maximum population. So we need to reprioritize that. Let's slow down your growth a little bit. Um, It's probably more colony time. I really don't want to build a transport yet because um, these transports are going to be obsolete and I would much rather have a faster transport. Um, actually, let's... I'll switch you to a colony pod for right now. That's another way of handling the population problem, actually. Um, I always do that. So let's look at colony pods. So, so right now we have the basic colony pod. Um, it does what it says on the tin. You'll notice that's fission. But if we change it to fusion, there's no real difference here. Um, and since colony pods have no way of fighting, 
there really isn't any difference. Uh, it'll die to anything. So fusion doesn't do anything there. But what it does do, it lets... I wonder why it stopped spinning. One moment. Anyway. Um, so that's basic colony pod. What I want is a faster colony pod. I don't really need it, actually. Let's see. Can I do... Not drop radar. Drop pods. We'll make it fission, because we might as well. We can add shields to it, but it would cost more. Uh, the speedier would cost more as well. Let's just keep it at a drop colony pod. So the reason why I'm wanting to do that is that I might need to jump across some gaps. And that's going to make things a little bit easier, and it'll just take one more turn. It's not that big of a deal. Also, one moment, I got an email. All right. Um, so yeah, uh, with drop pods at the moment, all we can do is jump up to eight squares away. So for instance, I could theoretically jump from here to there. That would not necessarily be too bad. And it means I don't need a transport ship. Um, but what I'm really wanting is later on, instead of it just being a drop pod, it becomes what's called an orbital insertion. Orbital insertions no longer have range limitations on drop pods. You can drop them anywhere on the planet. Speaking of, let's actually take a look at our planet. Ooh, there's a lot of pods up there I should be sending transport ships out to. That island looks kind of juicy. Um, what's going on with the hive area? They are built up fairly well, but they don't seem to... Okay, they have expanded in the water a bit. That's unfortunate. There's the ruins. Uh, the ruins will be... It's a position of a whole bunch of obelisks. Sometimes you'll notice that there's an obelisk missing due to various terrain things that can happen. Um, ooh, borehole cluster. This is a natural borehole cluster. Natural, obviously. They're not actually natural. Um, and it's the only way in the game to actually have two boreholes adjacent to each other. What else do we have? Let's just move around this way. The UNS Unity wreckage is over there. Oh, we're not even that far away from it. Hmm, maybe I should have somebody over there to investigate. There's extra things in here that we can pick up. It's basically like dedicated goodie cuts. Um, looks like LOL hasn't really expanded at all, which is good. Or expanded beyond his island, I mean. So I'm a little concerned about him. Uh, Miriam is definitely expanding quite a bit. That's unfortunate. Sparta's not moved the entire game, it looks like. That's special. They're even right next to uranium flats, which give you extra energy. That's actually a great spot for a city, and they're just ignoring it. Huh, I guess they're not doing so well. Maybe they had some colony ships blown up by Miriam. I don't know. Um, Morgan sucks. They have... One city, they're building one mineral per turn and they have no food. Yeah, they're dead. They cannot do anything because their one mineral per turn will be taken up with the synth metal sentinel and that's it. That's all they're going to do. So they are producing research at least. They're getting four labs per turn. That's just terrible. And yes, you can actually click on what various factions are doing. In fact, there was a glitch earlier on where you can actually reposition their workers and the AI would let it happen. It's not supposed to, it just does. But anyway, uh, Morgan's basically screwed at this point. They, There's no way out of that. Um, we need to expand more. That's certain. And there's a lot of pods for us to pick up. Luckily, we have two more turns until we're finished the initiative. You'll notice that I'll abbreviate the Doctrine to D. I know, whole bunch of talky talky, less play play. Uh, let's see. Poor hole there is not the worst idea. Do it. Complete. Place that. You're going back to holding. You're going to move around. You're moving down there to build a borehole over there. 
You're gonna road that so we can get there later on more easily. You're gonna numb that mind worm, barely. All right, now that I know where things are at, I can just start having the ship go off. Unfortunately, it's just a foil, which means it's still really slow. Don't worry, the foils will be done soon enough. Indigenous life form. Numb? Ooh. We're having problems numbing things. That's not a good sign. Production complete. All right, we have a hab complex in our capital, finally. Our capital is just not a very good place. Really, game? It glitched out a little bit. Um, Fusion Lab and Energy Bank, why not? Yeah, we'll just keep it like that for now. Honestly, just get some more food and energy, please. We don't really need production there at the moment. Um, you're gonna... Forest. Terraform complete. Indigenous life... Nom. Nom. I know, watching me harvest money, not the most entertaining thing in the world. Borehole. Sleep. Sleep. Turn complete. A ship at sea is its own world. To be the captain of a ship is to be the unquestioned ruler of that world and requires all of the leadership skills of a prince or minister. Colonel Corazon Santiago, leadership and the sea. All right, so this gives us naval yards, which are just like the airspace complexes and command centers, and it's plus two morale for sea units. In addition, though, it allows, well, each of those allow their respective unit types to heal completely in one turn, if I remember right. Uh, let's see, is that actually a thing, or did I make that up? Yep, repairs damage naval units quickly. Um, maritime control center is just a naval yard in every base, except it also increases movement speed by two for all non-native naval units. This is going to be very useful because we want to go neom. Oh, it's raining. I have the window, or the sliding glass door open behind me. Um, yeah. Alright. Ah, uh, we have options. So, Isle of the Deep is not necessarily a bad idea. That's for Centauri Meditation. The reason why it's not a bad idea is, again, it's a transport unit that can also attack. Um, probably not going to go for it, though. Xeno Empathy Dome is nice, though. Maybe I should. Uh, advanced Subatomic Theory, we're going to have to do at some point. We skipped it earlier, strangely enough, because we traded for fusion power. Uh, bioengineering is going to be very useful for that clean reactor that we're going to need lots of. I'm kind of leaning toward that. Advanced Ecological Engineering gives us Superformers. Just picture a former, but with a cape on it. Uh, no. Um, superformers, one, increase the speed of terraforming by a very large amount. And two, you can actually construct soil enrichers. The problem is that Superformers are an add-on to regular formers, which means they cost more. Um, adaptive Economics would give us the Planetary Energy Grid, which will give us an energy bank in every base. That's kind of nice. Uh, and the thermocline transducer, which gives us extra energy for sea tiles, which is also kind of nice. Finally, we've got organic super lube. It's great stuff. Um, that gives us a better weapon and lead-ons into further tech that we're going to need. I mean, we need everything, basically. <sighs> I think I can go with bioengineering, though. I want Maximal that clean reactor. Reached. Indigenous life form. Um? Nom. Nom. Take. You are Marine Institute. Marine Institute that is not costing a resource. So it's something that I had noticed is that they don't always cost... Native units don't always seem to cost resources anymore, and I'm not sure what's up with that. I do not remember that ever coming up in regular smack. Also, why did I build a mirror here? Oh, that's right. There is one tile with... Any solar panel nearby. Never mind. 
indigenous life form. Num. Flat, arid. Screw it. Borehole suckers. Indigenous life forms. Num. Num. Road. Rest. I'm uh, thinking about it, I probably should have gone for the Xeno Empathy Dome. I am kind of needing that. Turn complete. Uh, looks like we have the most money again, which is nice, I guess. Council things, we can still salvage the Unity Corp, but that's really about all we can do. And there's no way in hell that we're going to actually win a presidential election, or a um, gubernatorial election, because... Lol's in the game, and Lol also has the um, Empathy Guild. Empath Guild, there we go. So it's going to be a long time before we can actually win an Enemy election. Project initiated. We can't let him have that. Production complete. Um, honestly, it's... Oh, right, we need to build... Transports. Right. Um, Project just go with that for now. First off, let's make ourselves cruiser. Transport. Deep radar is free. Um, defense versus Psy is a good idea. It's going to cost more, but I think it's worth it right now. Later on, we're going to end up upgrading this to clean reactor. But you'll notice that, one, it has eight cargo, and two, its movement speed is five instead of three like the foils. Um, Can we get... Yes, we can get free defense, so we're going to also make it pulse three. And going back to here, we're going to switch you over to building that. There we go. Now, having said that, I don't think we're going to need to worry too much. So I think we can just drop across that straight and be fine. But it's going to be useful for the next one, and that's probably going to be the base that I'm going to start pumping out lots of colony pods. Indigenous life forms. Nom? Nom. Rest. Road. Indigenous life forms. Bot recovered. Hmm. Free formers. Nice. Um, oh right. We need yeah, you're not you're just gonna do Project that and initiated. Um 3264, 100 minus 64 is 36. There we go. Just, yeah, we need that more than anything else. Uh, what else for our secret projects? We've got Cyborg Factory in nine turns. Um, Cyborg Factory probably is what I want you to do. I mean, don't get me wrong, Neural Amplifier is nice, but it's not Cyborg Factory nice. So, I mean, Cyborg Factory is a bio-enhancement center in every base, so even more morale bonuses on our units. So I would love to have that. Uh, how much would this cost us? Energy. More than we have, but not by a huge amount anymore. Okay. So like another turn or two is probably fairly efficient. Or bore. Oh, Terraform right. Command. Can't go straight from fungus to borehole yet. Indigenous life form. Nom? Nom. Turn complete. Turn complete. Oh, our native life forms are back down to normal. So that lasts for 20 turns for reference. It's just that we've started... Oh, one, I'm explaining a lot. Project and complete. two, we've started getting a little slow. So let's go ahead and watch the Maritime Control Center.
It is altogether fitting that we who have sailed the deeps of space now return again to the sea. This is in many ways a water planet, and it can be ruled from the waves. With sea power, rugged terrain can be bypassed and enemy strongholds isolated. Once naval superiority is achieved, planet is ours for the taking. Colonel Corazon Santiago, Planet, a survivalist guide. I mean, she is kind of right. Um, that is actually the basis behind one of the factions in the expansion. So, yep, we now have Maritime Control Center, which yay. Uh, got Grand Memorial. You can go ahead and take a breather and work on a fusion lab. Actually, no, wait, no. You're going to construct a supply crawler. There we go. That makes more sense. Speaking of supply crawlers. Um... You can go ahead and aqua farm. No, if we're going to do that, we should get some sea farmers first. Production complete. Okay, something else that we need. Um, we need a better probe team. So we're going to start actually using them soon. No. Um, yep, that's good. So we wanted cruiser probe teams just because they get to move further. So this has a base movement of six, so it'll end up being eight now that we have the naval yard. Um, because otherwise, yeah, we could do, oops, not that one, um, a probe foil. But it costs 30 and has four movement versus costing 40 and having six movement. Yeah, um, that's a kind of a no-brainer. Yeah, okay. Um, you are going to go here. Indigenous life Nom. Ooh, that was a rough battle. Um, we actually do want to wake up you. Nom. Indigenous of course. Life Nom? Ugh, we're badly hurt that time. Uh, Oceanographic Lab, go ahead and start forming. Let's go ahead and start removing some of the fungus around us. Wait, move. At least once more. Um, while you don't necessarily have a 100% chance of moving into fungus, you do if there's already a unit there. Um, and assuming you have your full movement. So it is generally useful to do Hi, Boo. You want to say hi again? I'm sure the internet would love to see a kitty. Aww. Meow. Indigenous life Ah, I get yet another <sighs> spore launcher. Ugh. But recovered. Money. Money size. Indigenous life form. Um, merge. Barely won that. Barley. You're gonna move. Effectively there. Turn complete. Maximum population reached. All right, lab three. Let's get more food for you, and let's start working on a hab complex. Terraform. So you're going to start expanding more. Indigenous life form. Nom. Nom. Move fungus, please. You're going to sleep. You're going to poke that thing. You're going to attack it. You're going to move back and forth. You're gonna slowly hobble back to a base. Is Marine Institute closer? Uh, 17 versus... Why are you so slow all of a sudden? Versus 17. Okay. Um... Um, 
Nom. Nom. More demon boils. You need to rest. Uh, let's double check Academy Park, which should be right here. Academy Park. I am not seeing a resource on that, so it is free. I wonder if that's just something that the mod changed. The uh, Prakax mod. Oh, that's fun. Um, we're going to move you further away, just in case. You need to sleep. You're at max. Xenofungal Bloom, that's fine. We're going to take out that tower while we can. Once more, you need to sleep. Numb? We have a lot of money this turn. Let's go ahead and buy some secret project. So, it's either Cyborg Factory or Neural Amplifier. I'm wondering if Neural Amplifier is actually better for us in the short term, but Project I don't like initiated. doing things in the short term. So this is going to be all but 88 money out of this. So 88 minus 12 is 76. 600 minus 76 is 524. Thank you. There we go. And we still have 623 energy, so that's good. Enemy project initiated. Yep, I should have done the other one. Oh well. <laughs> More danger, eh? Project you even have complete. still a planet bonus. Anyway, time for the cyborg factory. A handsome young cyborg named Ace wooed women at every base. But once ladies glanced at his special enhancement, they vanished with nary a trace. Barracks Graffiti, Sparta Command. Referencing a bioenhancement center, they never say what the enhancement is after all. Um, so yeah, we've got better units still, which is nice. You're going to immediately start building Neural Amp because that's my best base for production right now. Hence why it's doing eco damage, which sucks. Um, that is my best production base, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. New Azurimus is actually second. Ooh, that's actually not that far off. Maybe I should start building things there. You need to rest. You're basically done with terraforming at this point. You need to sleep. Indigenous life forms. Why not make it slightly more damaged? Um, you mirrored, okay. And you are going to extract garbage. Um, we're doing zero minerals a year, but that's turning into a borehole eventually. So, actually, it's going to take a long time to turn into a borehole. I should have it extract the one food just because. At least it'll get something. Um, you don't really need to do anything right now, do you? Oh, right. I could be improving Lab 3. Derp. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and solar that. Indigenous life forms. Cannot execute order. Oh, right. You actually have to start from a base. Mm, that means that that was a useless move. Oh, well. I'll put it back. I would have to wait for the transport anyway. Forgot that I had to start in a base. It's annoying. Win, please? It's not going to win, is it? Oh, it did. Nice. Indigenous life forms. Indigenous life forms. That's a stack of alien life forms, which means lots of money. 120 credits. Nice. You need to sleep. We need to wait. Complete. Um, it's at five, yeah. So they are working on the neural amplifier. The problem is that they started the turn before we did, 
really should have done it the other way around, but I didn't think they were going to start at that turn. Not much we could do about that. Production complete. All right, we built a supply crawler. You're going to switch over to a fusion lab, I guess. No, actually, we want... I want the chaos copter. Production It'd complete. be nice to actually have a military unit for once. Although I do have that one boat, but whatever. New Azras, Azramis, you are going to build us another transport. So I want complete. multiple of those. But we have finished our prototype, which is nice. So we've got that going for us. Um... No, not headquarters. Burb team. Terraform complete. All right. We are going to bring the spore launcher with us. Money. Indigenous life forms. Uh, num. Okay, num. And level up. Um, uh, you're Indigenous going. Indigenous life forms. Damn it. Monk. Indigenous Bonk. life forms. You're sleeping now. You're gonna nom. You need to rest. You're gonna try to agitate. You need to rest. You're gonna try Turn to agitate. Complete. More forest. That's nice. Production complete. Why do you insist that a human genetic code is sacred or taboo? It is a chemical process and nothing more. For that matter, we are chemical processes and nothing more. If you deny yourself a useful tool simply because it reminds you uncomfortably of your mortality, you have uselessly and pointlessly crippled yourself. Apologies for somebody Chen dropping the sea. Jiang, looking God in the eye. Sounds like my housemate is back. One moment. And I'm back. I even grabbed some water while I was at it. This nice, lovely color that the transparency loves to do things with. Not even that similar of a shade. Whatever. Anyway. All right. Um. So the new one that we gained is retroviral engineering, which is an interesting technology. Um. Once more, we'll eventually have to research it anyway. But. Ah. The one that I want is not here. That is unfortunate. I'm thinking we're going to go with advanced ecological engineering, though. Let's go with some super psi. Or super formers, not super psi. Brain. Brain does not want to work. Maximum population reached. Okay. Um... Now you can build the Aquafarm. Terraform complete. Um, just want to double check. My growth is plus zero, right? Yeah. Okay. So there is a concept. I'm gonna look this up really fast to make sure I get this right. Um, that is under advanced concepts, or no? It's under base concepts. It looks like. So everything is in the planetary data links, which is just by hitting F1. Um, golden Age, here we go. So a Golden Age is what happens when you have more talents than regular workers and specialists. And it will increase your growth rate and energy production by the equivalent of plus one economy and plus two growth. 
Now, plus one economy gives you one energy in the base tile. Who cares? It's at two economy where you get plus one energy in every tile that it makes a huge difference. Plus two growth at this point is just plus 20% growth, which is nice, don't get me wrong, but it's not the end of the world. If we were able to get up to plus two economy, which we would get by running wealth, we could actually pull off some things. But... This is more useful if you're in a planned economy. Because with running planned, you also get plus two growth as opposed to the minus two growth from um, green, which means that we'd have a total of plus four growth. If you add in a golden age, that's plus six growth. And six growth is a um, population boom. Also, we have children's crate in every base, which is plus two growth. So if we added, basically what I'm trying to get at is that I'm intentionally not trying to get golden ages right now. It's possible for us to do, but it would cost us money and or science. And I don't want to, I want to focus on this. I don't know if that's a good idea, to be honest. Just the way I tend to play. Um, yeah, might as well finish up. If I remember right, I can click on here, choose the supply crawler, and yeah, we're going to get minerals for you. Now you have one eco damage, and you have your first drone. Hello, drone. That is a police unit, so we cannot get any better than this for... Um, that, uh, we can't get any better than this for... Um... Stopping drones from happening. Let's rearrange things a little bit. Slow down growth. I don't want to grow right now. That would be bad. Um, there we go. Okay. Now, let's look at our options for places to put new colonies. So, I would like to actually deal with this wreckage at some point, but that doesn't mean I need a colony there, just that I want to do something with that area. Um, I'd prefer some place that actually has some bonuses. Over here is actually a pretty good spot. Unfortunately, the spots that I really want to go to are covered in fungus. Sunny Mesa is also a good idea for energy production because every tile of the top part of the Mesa is plus one energy, I think. Do I have that over here somewhere? It does not say. I, mean, I can just do that. So that is two at 1300. We'll go with a comparing spot. That is 2 at 1,300. Okay, so maybe that isn't plus 1 per. Maybe it's just higher up? I don't remember now. Anyway, I think I want bases on both of these islands. Oh, why does that spot have to be covered in fungus? Maybe I can get a former to come with me? I have to wait for a bit, but that would be a really good spot for a base if I can remove the the um Yeah, let's go ahead and take a former. It's gonna take us a little bit longer, but that's fine. You're coming with me now. Indigenous life form. Nom. 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 Bonk. Bonk. It's a monolith. Okay. Indigenous life. Nom. Nom. 
turn complete. Um, we've got a thousand energy. We should spend some of it. What do we want to spend things on? Actually, we're going to hurry your tree farm. So it's all but 16. 72 minus 16 is 66. So the reason why I'm hurrying the tree farm is that this area sucks. We need forests badly. Um, what else could we hurry? That would matter. Insufficient I mean, energy. That technically we actually did have enough to be able to rush it, but uh, I want one more turn if I can help it. Hopefully we can pull that off in one more turn. Let's go ahead and save just in case. Yes, destroy more of Yang's units. Production complete. Yay, more transports. Um, We're going to go build an aqua farm for you. Although I'm tempted to just start longevity vaccine. Oh, yeah. So we should look at what the longevity vaccine does for us. So, yes, that's what I thought it was. So it's two fewer drones in every base if you have planned economy. One fewer drone for either a simple economy or a green economy. And economy stat is increased by 50% at that base for free market economies. So if you can pull it off, longevity vaccine is ridiculously good for a free market. I hate running free market. So I usually just end up with minus one drone, which to be fair is something we actually Project need. Initiated. Yay, tree farm. Okay. Um, go ahead and build a bio lab, rearrange things where we're actually doing halfway decent now. Life forms. Sleep. Um, convert that back. We want borehole there. All right, now I want to get over to there. Twenty-eight turns. Terraform Moving at eight per. It's gonna be a few turns. It'll be fine. Not a huge fan, but it'll be fine. Okay, um, we had a bunch up here, yeah. We're going up there. Destroy. Destroy. Borehole, which, speaking of, reevaluate what we want from here. Nope, it's still going to be one food. Oh, well. Forest, forest. Sleep. Ah, I could have waited one turn. Oh well. Indigenous life forms. Nom? Ooh, barely won that. But recovered. Earthquake. Okay. Turn complete. Not the best, not the worst. Production complete. We have our chaos copter. Ooh. Yang already had flight. University engineers build their first air unit. Chairman Yang of the Hive already founded the first atmospheric core in 2287. So Yang had it for nine years. Interesting. They must be doing halfway decent on their research. A little concerning. But we also didn't bother with a crappy needle jet, so it's not too surprising. Um, I do not want food. Yeah, that's fine. Is that what I want total? That that'll work. Production complete. We've got our first probe team. So probe teams, for reference, will not have a marker as to what faction owns the probe team. However, given that the AI knows the entire map, they actually do know who does what. You can just lie to them, though. Um, it's more difficult to lie. 
but the other thing is that anybody can attack a probe team. So we need to be a little careful with our probe team if we want it to survive. I mostly built it out of fun. Let's go ahead and start making more colony pods. So where is the nearest enemy to me? So we've got them way over there. Honestly, I think it's the believers either way. Uh, uh, game. Game. Let's just slow down all of a sudden. 62 turns if we go that way. Going the other way. is 62 turns. It's the exact same in both directions. I'm on the exact opposite part of the world from them. You know what? We're going that way, just because. We haven't gone around that part of the world. Oh, and there's no bonus for going around the world for reference. Um, you need a tree farm. Request confirmation. Hmm. Um. Terraform complete. All right. Now, the worst use of a copter is to, oh, you notice that this copter is elite? We have a morale penalty. No, actually, no, we don't. We have normal morale, don't we? Uh, morale zero, yeah. So, still, this is a high-level unit, which means it should be really good against planetary life forms, and that's what shows up here. But remember, this is a fusion unit, and fusion units will have a problem with these odds here. So it's actually 13 to 4, not 13 to 2. It still should be fine. It just means that we're taking more damage, that's all. Also, uh, copters cannot capture native lifeforms, so it is a way of guaranteeing that you get money out of an attack, which is a thing. Indigenous lifeforms. Probably fine. Ugh. We leveled up. Indigenous life forms. Nom. Really needed to get Xeno Empathy Dome. Um, are there any more pods on this landmass? Yes, they're up there. And over here. But I already knew about those. Complete. All right, turn is complete. Ooh, Lady DJ wants to talk to us. Solicitous. Okay, so she's at least in a relatively nice mood. Her might is wanting, and she might be a little concerned about the fact that we actually have a military now. Gatling artillery prototype. I am not at all concerned about your artillery. And no, I am not giving you fusion power. No. I mean, if you've got uh, research data, I would love to hear about it. Yeah, I didn't think so. Um, you're willing to sell... Uh, you're willing to buy fusion power off of me for 25 energy credits. No. What is wrong with you? Ugh. Maximum population reached. So next turn, it'll actually arrive. That'll be nice. I'll also take this opportunity to collect some units. Mm, I probably should have moved them closer. Oh, well, uh, I'll collect some units if I can to send off to better pastures. Move fungus. 
auto explore or auto terraform, not auto explore. Dang it, brain! I'm tired. It's like 21 right now, time wise. Indigenous life form. Give me your planet pearls. You're gonna sleep, so you heal up. You're gonna sleep, so you heal up. Indigenous life form. You're gonna rest. Indigenous of course, form. it's an Isle of the Deep. Turn complete. It's always an Isle of the Deep. We are at one hour, so this is the point where I'm going to save and exit. I hope you've been enjoying this internet, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!